I've been pleased with the fight back, but probably just left it a bit too late in the end. Yeah, I'm more frustrated with the start. Um, you know, this game demands a fair bit out of you. And if you don't bring a level of intensity to the game and effort and you're not prepared to defend, um, you get results like that. It's a brutal competition. And to Hawthorne's credit, they brought it early and we weren't able to match them in that phase of the game. Um, you know, am I proud of their comeback? Yeah, I'm, cr I'm proud that they continue to, continue to respond when they're challenged. But I'm very frustrated with what I saw early. Um, because if you bring that to a game, it's, it's not going to stand up too often. What did you put that down to? I, I can't answer what you bring it down to. But all I know is that's what the game demands. And um, if you're not prepared to play with intensity, which gives you your effort and your tackle pressure and your ability to win the ball, and you're not prepared to defend, um, it's going to be a tough day. And um, we can only go by what we see and what the game demands, and that's what the game demands. It doesn't matter who you're playing. Um, and to Hawthorne's credit, that's what they brought today. What did you do? What did you say at half-time? Certainly got a response. Yeah, we got a response around the, the style that we wanted to play. Um, it looked nothing like us in the first half and really got them back to the basics of how we wanted to play the game. Um, we obviously made some positional moves with some players, uh, which worked for us. And, um, and to the players' credit, they did, they did respond and we did get the game looking the way we wanted. But um, once again, it was probably too far to come back. Um, you know, we got within... I'm not sure if we ever hit the lead, but we got... Yeah, yeah, we got level and, um, you know, we never got our noses in front all day. So you talk, you know, the fight itself like the contest at the time, and clearly you're talking about that effort and tenacity at the contest when you're talking about sort of defending, etc. Yeah, look, I, yeah, look, I thought we were beaten at both ends of the ground, um, but there was a level of, uh, you know, when you see Melbourne play, you see a, a real speed of intensity and, and pressure and, um, a willingness to win the ball and defend, um, and we didn't see that early. A and, uh, you know, Hawthorne had nine scoring shots to two in the first quarter. Um, seeing the past two years, the games where Melbourne has been favourite, and more, you've lost more of them than you've won, and you've won the games where you've been more outsiders. I is that a trend that you've noticed and addressed in any way? No, it's irrelevant, Jay. It's, um, it's what the game demands. You've got you to be prepared to come every week. This is a tough competition. You know, I think we've seen the results this week. This is a, a really hard competition, and you've got to make sure every week, whether you're favourites, not favourites, that's, that's irrelevant. You know, it's how you play the game. And uh, it demands a lot of you, it demands a lot of the team, and it demands a lot of individuals to continue to play that way every week. And, and we didn't bring that today early. Do you think that was a result of over, overuse of the ball as well? Was that a, a byproduct of your lack of intensity? Uh, no, not at all. Um, you know, we probably did overuse it at times. We handled it a little bit too much, but um, you know, I think that was uh, probably to do with a bit more of other stuff than what I'm talking about. There's a lot of focus pre-game on Lewis and Hogan. Simon, what would you say about their games today? Yeah, look, I thought Hogue's worked his way into the game. I thought his third quarter was outstanding. Um, and Geordie was pretty solid for us all day. Um, you know, he, he's a quality player. Um, you know, who we, we certainly love having at the footy club. And I thought both those guys worked their way into the game and um, were pretty positive for us on the day. But how do we feel that you want to let on? Oh, you have to ask Jordan that, potentially. You know, it's, uh, it's always tough coming up against the club that you've played for 13 years and, and won a whole heap of premierships with. Um, I'm sure he's got some great mates and great friends and feels a lot for that footy club still. But um, he was really focused all week on, on performing for Melbourne. Um, so you have to ask Jordan that. Yeah, he seems OK. Um, so we'll obviously get him assessed over the next few days, but um, you know, I think we're, we'll be pretty hopeful that he comes up this week. I know he came back on, but um, yeah, it seemed to sort of cradle that for a, for a fair bit of... Yeah, no, he's fine. Um, you know, he played forward in the second half and, and did a good job for us, you know, um, give us our forward pressure and also some, some run down in our forward 50. So, um, no, he'll be fine for next week as well. Um, Simon, I think Tom McDonald started there, centre half back. I'm not sure how much rucking he's done. Um, how, how, how difficult is that for the team to sort of juggle at the minute? Oh, it's a challenge, but it's something that we've welcomed as a footy club too. It's what we've got. So it's an opportunity for us. Um, 
we're not sitting here saying, you know, poor Melbourne, we haven't got a ruckman. We see it as an opportunity for our midfielders to develop a new skill set. We see an opportunity for Cam Pedersen, Jack Watts, Tom McDonald to share the load through the, through the ruck and develop a new skill set. Um, so we've got to find a way. Um, we can't sit here and, and wish we had a ruckman. We haven't got one. So that's what we've got and that's what we've got to deal with. You managed it really well last week, Did you feel you, you, got, you won the clearance, the centre clearances, I think? Do you feel it worked for you? You know, you obviously have plans to cope with it as well today as it did a week ago. Um, I think you know. I think we still won the clearances today um, pretty well, and we won them last week. So it hasn't had a great effect in terms of our, our clearance numbers. Um, but it certainly probably was a bit more effective last week. You know, I thought we got a bit better drive around the ball last week. Um, but in saying that, it certainly wasn't the biggest issue in the box today. Is that uh, Sam Frost's best game for the footy club? Yeah, I thought he was outstanding. You know, um, in an area of the ground that wasn't great for us today, I thought Sam um, really stood up for us and, and gave us great drive out of there when the time required it. So um, he's really emerging over the last three weeks um, and he's a real positive for the footy club. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm wrapped for Sam because he put a lot of hard work in. Under a bit of a slow start as well, Jack Viney really found some really good form today. Yeah, we've been pretty happy with Jack's last, you know, four or five weeks. I, I think, um, you know, he's been criticised for maybe not getting as many possessions, but the work he's doing around the ball and, and around the clearances and his tackling has been outstanding. Um, he hasn't had the high possession game that everyone looks at Jack for, um, but what he does without the ball and around the contest is exceptional. I thought today, for four quarters, he actually stood up for four quarters, was very, very good. Adelaide, on the bounce, Simon, you're going to have to go up a couple of notes notches um, to, tip, to tackle them. Um, what's going to be your approach to that? Oh, look, they're, they're a very good side. They obviously had a, a pretty disappointing day yesterday. Um, but all we can focus on is playing the way that we want to play. Um, it's, it's probably a, it's good to get on the road. I think it's our first away trip. So to get on the road and, and really galvanise as a team and um, look forward to play our best footy, that's all we can do this week. And the result will be the result. And um, we just focus on what we can control. Yeah, man.